Charlotte Bevan. I'm a professor in cancer biology at Imperial College London in England. Uh, my specific area of research is all to do with hormones, the male hormones, and how they affect prostate cancer. Um, one of the things that I'm also doing is to look for new biomarkers for prostate cancer so that we can try and give the, right, the men the correct therapy for them. So at the moment it's a really exciting time for prostate cancer. There are a lot of new therapies coming out and as we've been hearing over the last day or so, a lot of potential new therapies even now. Um, the problem is who should we give them to who is going to benefit from therapy A and who would do better on therapy B. So um, we're interested in finding biomarkers. So these will help us to, when a man is diagnosed, say, okay, you're gonna do better on this therapy and give him that straight from the off. So improve his, his uh, quality of life and also his um, prognosis for his disease. I think that precision medicine is really the next big breakthrough in all cancer research. And it's particularly exciting in prostate cancer. In some respects, we're leading the way. So a lot of us are trying to find new therapies for prostate cancer, but a therapy isn't much use unless you know who's going to benefit from it. So precision medicine is all about finding ways to tell who is going to benefit from a given therapy. Prostate Cancer Foundation is unique in its global approach. Although it's based here in the States, it really, they, the organizers will go out across the world to find people to bring to this retreat and to bring into the prostate cancer foundation family in a way so they visited my lab a few years ago and um, since then i've been coming to this retreat it's really expanded my horizons and my network of collaborators they've also supported the younger scientists in my lab um, and really i think helped both on a practical level but also in opening up opportunities as well. Yeah, so my background um, isn't in cancer research specifically but in hormone signaling in childhood disorders but the hormones I was looking at were the male sex hormones the androgens and it's these that drive prostate cancer so um, wanting to take my research into the cancer research um, angle it obviously made a great deal of sense for me to start working on prostate cancer. A few years ago my father-in-law died of prostate cancer uh, metastatic disease which we're becoming now much better at treating and I believe that if he was diagnosed now his life expectancy would be a great deal longer and I have to say it's it's not just prostate cancer research there's so much um, serendipitous interaction between prostate cancer breast cancer ovarian cancer and my also members of my family have suffered from breast cancer so I like to think that we'll